Hello out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 bringing you another part of Speed the Hedgehog 42's commission. It is Sonic, of course, done up in a little variant costume of his own design for um, a fanfic universe called Sonic Universe Z. Uh, kind of has a lone, um, you know, one of those uh, wandering Ronin looks where they have the cloak on that keeps that keeps uh, them protected from the elements. And then, um, you know, like when he fights, it has like a slit so that he can get a hand out for when he needs to do stuff. But then he can easily just discard the whole cost, the whole thing and just fight like that. And, and you know, that kind, that kind of look. It's a, it's a look. I, I know this look. So let's go ahead and make the toy. The recipe is pretty simple. It's uh, basically Sonic with Wave's legs. Uh, the arms don't need much work except to have the cuffs repainted. And the head doesn't have much work to do except to put his headband on. Uh, that is a scrap of material from a t-shirt. Um, it's it's doubled over itself so it won't fray and then tied around like a headband does. And I put a drop of glue in the knot in the back of his head so it won't come undone. Um, I also I, I also paint a little bit of scuff on his cheek, but uh, you'll, you'll see that later on. Uh, the legs are a simple affair. They're simply waves. I added some buckles to the side and painted them up in the right colors. And... Um, this is one of those figures that needs um, fabric. I don't really like using fabric because I can't sew. Um, so uh, this is like, I don't know, like that skirt thing he has around his uh, waist. The belt is made from a piece of tissue uh, rolled up really tight so it resembles a rope. And then uh, painted over to make it more waterproof. Uh, still, don't go dipping this figure in water because there's only so much the paint can do, you know. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know what you would call this skirt thing, but, yeah, he's wearing it. Uh, here is the Sonic figure reassembled in the new outfit. You know, um, a lot of times I I actually have rejected people's fan characters in the past because uh, the character is just an official character, but wearing a complex outfit. I am not a doll clothes maker. I don't, I don't make costumes. And if your figure is going to have a really complicated outfit, like a long flowing dress or, or something ridiculous like that, I'm, not, I'm really not going to be able to make it. It's not in my purview. Also, you got to remember, these figures are only three inches tall. Doll clothes don't exactly suit them. Um, but this Sonic figure does have a cloak. And uh, this is about the limit of what I'd be willing to do. Technically, I didn't even do it because... Um, this is something that I had to get my mother's help on because she's the one that knows how to sew. Uh, the poncho is, um, it's, you know, custom fit to, so that Sonic can wear it. It's held closed in the front by a, a scrap of Velcro, and it even has a hood. Although Sonic can't actually wear the hood because his head is too big. You know, in, in, um, in the virtual world, his spines can compress, but here in the physical world, the action figure is made out of a very hard plastic and won't move. There is a slit cut up the side so you can get an arm out. Um, and yeah, that's basically this uh, Sonic Universe Z. Uh, there we go. Uh, I hope you like the little cloak look. And uh, this is me signing off now.